Hey parents, so we've been working on lesson two in class and a lot of our second graders are having a lot of trouble right now. So I'm just going to do a review of what we've been doing. If you could please have your child sit down and watch this video, that would be great. It's really going to help them. On Monday, we are moving on to lesson three. They did get a lot of work on lesson two today, but we really got to keep moving, but this is just gonna help cover some gaps that some students might have. So what we're going to do, the problem would tell your child to draw a label in box 100. So if they're going to draw a label in box 100, it's best to go ahead and label your 100, and then now you need to also draw it. So your students should know how to draw their hundreds cube, how me and Miss Lane would like it drawn. You're just going to draw it just like that. And then it said draw a label in box. So I drew it, I labeled it, and my box is around it. Now the problem is going to want you to draw pictures that you would use to count up to the number 124. So we're already at 100, we're trying to get to 124. The student should think to themselves, can I add another hundreds block? No, because 100 plus 100 would be 200, and we're trying to get to 124. Now they think, hmm, can I add a tens block? Yeah, you could, because 100 plus 10 would be 110. So they're gonna go ahead and draw their tens block. Your student's tens block should be smaller than their 100, so the 100 looks bigger and the 10 is smaller. You also need to label it, that's gonna be 110. I need to add another tens block, making that 120. I'm now at 120. Can I add another tens block? No, because 120 plus 10 gives me 130. And I'm only trying to get to 124. Can I add a ones? Can I add a ones though? Yeah, I could add a ones. So I'm gonna add a ones, be 121, add another one, 122. Another one, 123. Another one, 124. That is exactly how this problem would look if I said draw label in box 100 and then draw your pictures to count up to 124. Now let's try a new one. If you want to pause right here and write it on your paper, you're more than welcome to. Now our next problem is telling us to draw a label in box 40. I'm going to write my 40. I'm now going to draw it. So I'm going to use tens to draw my 40. And I'm going to put my box around it. When I'm drawing my 40, should I use all ones? No, that would take way too long. You're supposed to use the best measurement possible, taking the least amount of time, which would be our tens block. Now you're gonna count from 140 all the way to 123 this time. Now, let's first think, can I use a hundreds block? No, because 40 plus 100 would be way more than 123. Can I use a tens block? Yes, I can. So I'm gonna draw my tens block and I'm going to label it. Well, 40 plus 10 would be 50. Now I'm going to just keep going. This one would be 60. This one would be 70, 80, 90, 100. I need to keep going. I'm trying to go to 123. This one would be 110. This one's 120. Now stop, can I add another tens block? No, because it's going to bring us to 130. I'm trying to get to 123. I only need three ones, because I have a three in my ones place. So I'm gonna do a one, that's gonna be 121. A one, that's 122. And a one, that's 123. This is what the student's problem should look like if you say draw a label in box 40 and then use your pictures to count up to 123. If you'd like to pause here to write this down, you're more than welcome to. Next, we're going to ask the student to draw a label in box 12. Draw a label in box 12. So first, can I use any hundreds? No, you can't use any hundreds, this is only 12. Can you use any tens? Yes, you could use a 10. Now, can I use another 10? No, that would make 20. I'm gonna have to resort to one, so I'm gonna add two ones to make my 12. All right, now next, you're gonna draw a label in box 12, which we did, and you're gonna count, use your pictures to count all the way up to 59. Now this is where it gets tricky. Some students get very confused on this part, so listen closely. I'm at 12. I cannot, I cannot add a tens block and call this 22. I cannot do that. 
I am going to have to use ones until I get to my full solid tens number. So I'm going to use a one, that'll be considered 13, a one that's 14, a one that's 15, a one that's 16, a one that's 17, a one that's 18, then my 19, and then my 20. Now that I'm at 20, when my ones has a zero, I can now add tens blocks to it. So I'm going to go ahead and add a tens. 20 plus 10 is 30. Remember, I'm trying to get to 59. Add another tens block. 30 plus 10 is 40. 40 plus 10 is 50. Now, can I add a tens block and get to 59? No, that'd get me all the way to 60. That's too far. So I'm going to have to use ones. This would be 51, 52, 53, 54, 55, 56, 57, 58, and my 59. This is what it would look like if the question asked your student to draw a label in box 12, and then show pictures of what they've used to count up to 59. You can pause here and write this down if you'd like, but remember, this does not happen. You cannot use a tens block first. The next one is going to be draw label in box 103. Okay, so I'm gonna draw my hundreds cube. That's my hundred, and then I'm gonna do three ones. That right there is my 103 draw labeled and boxed. I'm going to count up to 180. All right, so now if I'm counting up to 180, can I use another hundred square? No, I can't because 103 plus 100 would be 203, that's too much. Can I use a tens? No, I can't because look in my ones place. I have a three, I don't have a zero, I cannot add a tens. So, can I, I'm gonna have to, I'm gonna have to add my ones until I get to that solid zero at the end. So if I add a one, that's 104, 105, 106, 107, 108, 109, and then I'm going to have my, I'm going to have my 110. So after that, now that you have a zero in your ones place, you can now add your tens. So if I have 110 plus 10, that is going to give me 120. Now, this is very important. You're gonna make sure that your hundreds block is bigger than your tens. When you're drawing it, every student has different handwriting. As long as me and Miss Lane can tell that the hundreds is bigger than the tens, that's all we care about. So just make sure it's bigger. So we're at 120, we're still trying to get to 180. We're gonna to need to add another tens block, making that 130. Another tens block, making that 140. Another tens block, making that 150. Another tens block, making that 160. Another tens block, making that 170. And another tens block, making that 180. So this is what it would look like if you were, your student was asked to draw a label in box 103, and then draw pictures to count up to 180. If you want to pause here and write this down, you're welcome to.